yo. Good morning or afternoon, students. Yeah. Let's hope. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Go. We hope you have a good Wednesday. Let's hop into the news. Yes, and it is Michaela's birthday. Yeah. So everybody wish Michaela happy birthday if you see her in the hallways today. Our varsity baseball team sadly lost to BK. Where am I? Sadly lost to BK yesterday, April 26. BK scored four runs in the second, one in the third, three in the fifth, and ending the game with a final score of eight to zero. Our JV team also lost to Bishop Kelly with a score of 16 to one. Uh, the next baseball game will be he will be at Nampa tomorrow, Thursday, April 28th. But Nampa doesn't have a field, so if you want to go, go to Rodeo Park in Nampa. Rodeo Park in Nampa. You heard me here. Kaka, 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 kaka. It's Thursday, April 28th. Valley View Cheerleading is hosting another open gym from four to six. The open gym is in the. Uh, the upstairs gym here at Valley View High School. Tryouts are coming up soon, so going to the open gym is a great opportunity to get tips and learn what will be expected at tryouts. Also, the family ID to register for tryouts is now open. If you're an incoming freshman or junior or have never played a sport here at Valley View, you'll need an updated physical dated May 1st or after. In order to try out, you'll need to be registered in family ID and be approved, so make sure you get that done. The Valley View Cheer Team hopes to see you here, see you there this Thursday. Kaka, kaka, kaka. Now that we're done with sports, let's jump into the weather with Mason. Oh, we're recording. Whoa, what's up, guys? Wednesdays today, it's super sunny, so go outside, you useless humans. Have you ever touched grass? I doubt it. 41, 66, those are degrees, not Celsius, we're not losers. Uh, Thursday, tomorrow, cloudy, you know, can't, it's cloudy, sometimes, can you hear me yet, hello? Cloudy, 38 to 57, Friday, sunny, a ball of light, 39 to 61, Saturday, this one, cloudy also, that's okay, 43 to 64, the numbers are lighter, because I did this and I kind of suck at it. Next, Sunday, sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy. The, these two had a baby, and it's this one. 44, 66, and that's weather. Uh, moving on to national news. Twitter has unanimously accepted Tesla CEO Elon Musk's $44 billion offer to take the social media giant private. The development is an abrupt turn in the ongoing Musk Twitter saga. Less than two weeks ago, Twitter's board ab adopted an anti-takeover provision known as a poison pill, signaling that the directions were gearing up to rebuff Musk's order, offer, or perhaps seek a higher bidder. But shareholders warmed up to the idea after, Musk's, after Musk disclosed he had lined up $46.5 billion, including $21 billion of his own personal fortune, to pay for this purchase. Musk said other investors can contribute to the financing. <coughs> Sorry. The deal is expected to close sometime this year. Before then, shareholders still have to weigh in, as well as regulators in the U.S. <coughs> and ab abroad, where Twitter does business. <coughs> Dude. Ah. Once a company agrees to be acquired, the buyer gets to take a closer look at the books and make sure there isn't any red flags that come up via the company's public filing. According to Idaho News, the Boise City Council has approved this controversial proposal. This proposal would allow the city to build a homeless shelter on State Street. There was a vote of four to two. The council president of Pro Teming, Holly Wooding, said that this is their job helping the homeless people in the community because they are also Boise residents who need help. The job of Pro Temor Tempor is to make sure every single resident in Boise is taken care of and has a home. As of right now, she doesn't exactly have the plans to be able to help them at the moment, but she does not plan on giving up and is willing to make modifications to make sure that they can help these homeless people. Did you know that the fastest gust of wind ever recorded was 253 miles per hour? The three-second gust of wind was recorded on the coast of Barrow Island, Australia in 1996. The previous record was on Mount Washington back in 1934, 
with 231 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. That's all we have for today's VSPS. Yes. Come join us on Friday for the next one. Yes, go support our, our teams that have games, which is just baseball. Come to the open gyms for cheer. Yes, and uh, caca, caca, and remember, no, no PDA. PDA.